Hey y'all, Dan here. Today's video will be the first of two parts analyzing Frank Chimizo's performance at the 2021 European Championships. In the first part, we'll take a look at three hip encounters Chimizo used to counter his opponent's head outside single attacks. The second part will cover his offensive attacks. With that, let's get to it. Sequence one. Opponent's going to shoot on Shimizu's left leg, pops his head to the outside, switches off to that foot control. Shimizu's going to actually break that control off. So let's let's take a quick look at that. So as the opponent gets in, you can see right here, brings his right hand to the foot. And what Shimizu's going to do to counter that, he's going to he's going to posture up. He's gonna bring his knee into the opponent's chest here, brings his foot high off the ground, and he's gonna kick the leg down here. So he's able to strip that grip off his foot, alleviate some of that control, remove some of that control that the opponent had. Now right here, the opponent's still in good position. Looks like he is, he's on one foot already, maybe thinking about building up to both feet and finishing that way. But watch how Chimizo, difficult to see here, but you can kind of see the locked hands grip here. So Chimizo may be threatening a chest wrap. Uh, in any event, that's going to bring the opponent back to his knees. So there's this constant battle of the opponent getting to both feet and Chimizo trying to prevent that and keep it on the mat. Here the opponent is able to get some height, gets to one foot, and he's going to drive through. Chimizo is able to... Base out on his right hand, and then in a second here, his right foot as well, withstands that drive. And then here you can see how Chimizo is gonna grab the ankle of the opponent, it's the opponent's left ankle. He's gonna pull the ankle out just a little bit. And with that, that's gonna cause a reaction from the opponent. The opponent's gonna wanna drive his weight you can see right there. You see how he drives that weight over that left ankle? It's gonna make the ankle a little bit heavier, a little harder to pull out for Chimizo. But that's what Chimizo wants. So at this point, the opponent's weight is distributed more onto his left knee here. This is gonna open up the hip encounter. So Chimizo feels this. He's gonna post on his right hand. His other hand is pulling on the lat here. And then he's going to use his left leg driving into the opponent's armpit. He's driving off of his other foot on the mat here. And he brings the opponent to his back. Here, so we'll see that a couple times. So this is the hip encounter, super effective. In freestyle scoring, that's worth two points. So even though the opponent does roll through here and he's still on the leg, that's gonna be two points for Chimizo. Sequence two. The opponent again is going to shoot in on a single leg, gets the head to the outside, and we're going to see a very similar hip encounter from Chimizo. And this time he's going to end up on top, so really clean finish. So the, the big key to this technique, and, and a big key to, I think, Chimizo's success on defense, is the ability to identify vulnerabilities in positions. So right here, before the movement even happens, Chimizo's analyzing 
the opponent's positioning. And you can see how the opponent's on his left knee. His right foot is posted out here. So, and his head's to the, to the right side as well. The vulnerability in his base is towards the opponent's left side here. And, and Chimizo feels that. Um, all Chimizo needs to do is drive the opponent's weight over this knee. It's hard for the opponent to withstand pressure in that direction because he doesn't have a foot posted out. So if you can get the pull his weight over that knee, he's gonna fall to his hip. So that's that's the big key here. So it's, you have to you have to understand the opponent's positioning. So yet again, this time he's a little bit lower. Last time he was on the lat. Now he's more of like kind of the mid torso, I guess, closer to the hip. Um, posted on his his right hand again. Can't really see it too well from this from this frame, but the right foot's gonna be driving off the mat just like before. Here you can see it a little bit better. And this time it looks like the opponent makes an adjustment and he's controlling closer to the foot here, which a lot of times can make the hip encounter harder for the defending wrestler because the opponent, the offensive person has more leverage on the leg, but it's still gonna work. And, and the reason it works is because Shimizu is able to pull the opponent to his hip here. So he pulls him to his left hip here. And once he's on the hip, he's in he's in trouble. It, it it just he has very little ability to absorb force here. As Chimizo kicks the leg the opponent's controlling over, the opponent's arm is essentially a lever for this movement. So he uses the opponent's arm to twist the opponent, and he's also pulling on the hip simultaneously. And that's gonna cause the opponent to yet again go to his back. This time he gets stuck on his back. Chimizo ends up on top here. Sequence three. So yet another Chimizo hip encounter. So the opponent's going to shoot in, head outside single. You can see right here, so the opponent's got the hands locked, back of the hamstring. Look at the opponent's knees though. So his left knee off the mat, right knee on the mat. So there's an asymmetry here in his base. He has more weight distributed towards his right knee. So this is the direction of the base vulnerability. So Chimizo is gonna do this initial hip in. So he just pops his hips into the opponent. Because the opponent is not able to really absorb that pressure towards his right side, he's gonna be forced to flare this knee out to absorb it here. As he does that, his positioning to me looks a little bit weaker. So his, his back is more bowed, his, his eyes are towards the mat. Uh, so his head's not up. Chimizo, meanwhile, still on both feet here. So he's still in he's he's still in strong positioning. He's gonna hip in yet again, and this second hip in is gonna bring the opponent from his right knee to his right hip here. And Chimizo's gonna end up on top. So the opponent's in, hands locked. But he's on one knee, he's on his right knee and his left knee is off the mat. Shimizo hips in, opponent has to flare out, hips in again, takes him off the knee, takes him to the hip. Gets on top. That will do it for part one. Stay tuned for the second part, analyzing Shimizo's offensive attacks from the 2021 European Championships.